Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new Let's Play of the Stanley Parable. I've never played this game, this is going to be completely blind. And um, hey, welcome aboard. If you, uh, if you really enjoy this playthrough, uh, I'd appreciate very much if you would uh, subscribe to the channel, give the video a like, uh, or leave a comment, or if you don't feel like doing any of those things, that's completely fine by me. I'm just happy you're here. So I've never played this and uh, I've done a little bit of t tuning in the options like I changed the resolutions and all that but notably I turned down achievement and the saves. I don't know why but uh, by default they are disabled so I turned them on. I don't know why I wouldn't honestly. I actually I'm not sure if that's the right choice so we'll see. So I have no idea what this game is about. Um, I only know that a lot of people like it, it's really popular. I also can't help but notice that we have a smaller screen w with somebody else playing the Stanley Parable who has somebody else in their computer playing Stanley Parable, so on and so forth. What does that mean? Is this game going to be meta? I don't know, I'm just... Let's, let's just begin. Uh, the end is never the end. I think there's a plane flying over my house. I don't know if you can hear that. Sorry for the noise. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day, every month, of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Interesting. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No, no one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Oops, um, sorry, I'm not controlling this. I, okay, I know, I see what the problem is. My controller is on the floor and, uh, it affected the controls. I'm not using the controller to play this. So, no orders came in today. That's highly unusual. By the way, let me see if I can... I can have some subtitle here. Closed captioning. Uh, let's do full captions. Uh, sorry, I didn't know this was a thing. I also don't know why games tend to have them disabled by default. Uh, there's a yellow envelope. Or is that an envelope? No, it's a box. Okay, I'm I'm, I'm employee two four two seven, and I have my own office. That's pretty impressive. So you you mean to tell me that every single employee in this office, in this building, in this company, has his own office? That's pretty nice. Um, oh sh. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. Wait, what? What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing <laughs> All this because me. I closed the door? And here I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. What? Had years gone wait. by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. 
Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. Hang on the fuck a minute. I just... That was... What was that? A death? Oh, because I closed the damn door? No, I'm stepping out of the room this time. Fuck you, game. You don't do that to me. I'm closing the door from the outside, you see? I am closing the door to my past. I'm closing the door to my routine. Not today. Not now. Okay, let's just formally begin this game. What the fuck is even going on? Can I open any door to my colleague? They're not in the office, as far as I can tell, and we all have a very similar office. Oh, they have a... They have a painting? Do I have a painting? Even though I think it's a painting of shit. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Oh, so... Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, so not everybody has... A secluded office. That means we're doing really well. Or for the or no the matter fact how that hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Or the rest of the world, apparently. Today is really bright. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, why are they still using Win95? Well, it's no surprise that we are like good enough to have our own office or something because he's got to be the only person who's happy to do this job. So he will be very good at it and he'll be kind of rewarded for it. Um oh, I can actually turn people's computer off. By the way, I, I forgot to try the phone. Maybe I should have tried to call someone. I doubt it will yield any results though. So yeah, clearly everybody's gone. What is 4B6? It's not a number. Um, is the time right? I, I, I want to take a closer look at the clock. Like the time is 11:25, but. Is it actually moving? If I stare at this clock long enough, is are the are the hands actually gonna move? I don't know. Let's just remember 11:25, and we'll look at the clock a little bit or later. Oh, this is the this is the shit painting, and it's not shit at all. All you need to do is take a closer look. Oh, is that the big message of the game? I got it. I got it now. I can't get into any of these rooms. Oh, okay. I guess the 4B series is just uh, rooms on the corridor, and the numbers are for employees. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Excuse me. I I did not go. I haven't made my choice yet. You can't do this to me. Hmm. Okay, let's see here. By suggesting that Stanley goes to the door on the left, the game is expecting me to follow the instruction. So I should go to the right. But the game may have anticipated that I would disobey its original instruction. So the instruction itself is where I should actually go follow. Because he would actually... He expect me to go to the right, so I should go to the left. That is if it didn't anticipate the fact that I would anticipate its misdirection and fuck it, I'm going to the left. Um. Okay, can I still turn back? I just had an anxiety attack. Of course not, of course not. It's just gonna fuck with me. Uh, it's one of those games. Yet there was not a single person here either. 
Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Maybe. Gonna meet the boss. Meeting room floor or something. What is this? What, what do we even talk about if we just push buttons? Weekly targets. Marketing Mondays. What the hell? Financial panic meeting? <laughs> yeah, maybe everybody just collectively had a panic attack and, I don't know, vanished. Office party! Oh! When, when is that? That's on Friday, uh, Friday night, of course. We got a party every week. That's something to look forward to. Ex except if you hate everybody or just straight up don't know everybody. That's gonna be scary. Pre-review of weekend review. Seriously? Oh, the weekly review. And this is the weekly review. So you basically spend the evening, talk about the next morning. What to do about 432? That takes up a whole calendar. Five, four, five, five ones. Uh, what is that? Private time? No way, that's a thing. No way, that's a thing. Do not alter without consulting whiteboard manager. There's a whiteboard manager. What the hell is going on? Oh, and we have a Rip Fran? Franz? France, I think. Um, <laughs> this is pretty interesting. Uh, th am I correct in assuming that this is done in the source engine? Targets push for funding for R&D of new coffee machine. Do we really need to develop our own coffee machine? What do we do anyway? What, what does this company do? Get Chris out of the broom closet. Chris, get out of the closet! Uh, hire someone to synergize papers. Papers are too synergized. Fire paper guy. <laughs> hire somebody to fire the paper synergizing guy. Who <laughs> moved my desk? <laughs> Please keep the targets on the topic of uh, something that's blurred. Why would? Okay, I guess it's erased. Not cost efficient. Oh, what was not cost efficient? A standard glyphs. Okay, whatever. Tomorrow, complete today's I finished agenda items. Right next day's agenda. Ref reflect. <laughs> That's like every day. The future was yesterday. Tomorrow is now. Now nah, this is fucking perfect. Okay, let's finally look at it. Oh, what what do we have here then? B one quarterly post review review. <laughs> Apparently, we have uh, a lot of percentage space between the teenagers. And these are teenagers. So teenagers t make up something like 20%. The rest are not teenagers. That's our demographic. Throw something <laughs> in the idea bin. The ide Why is the idea bin uh, the trash bin? No more bins. No more bins or trash bins. Renaming of the idea bin. Yeah, it, it, does, it does need some rebranding on this. This is just the recycle bin. F firing of me. Oh, the idea bin is saying fire me. Cool. We need less reviews. Yeah, you need to you need to have less review of reviews. That's what you need to do. 402 plus 405 want to get uh, want to get bit of uh, the death sport portion in the primary review schedule but I think that's a stupid idea more watercolors more water uh, more water coolers but water cooler heart heaters charts need to be more nip to appeal to teenage demographic the hell is more hip when is this supposed to be the kids don't want to be hip now find teenagers to put in teenage demographic Wow, work harder. Work. Okay, what what does this say? What are your dreams for the future? This is as generic as a future page could be. Tips for not getting fired. Talk less. Do unbelievably amazing work all the time, every day, with no expectation of promotion or recognition. Don't get fired. That's fair. What do people want? Things, money, more money, things, but with money to buy more things, graphs, 
grabs about things plus money. We have our new product. Oh, our new product is graphs about things and money. So what if we just produce graphs? I'm sensing none of this has a real point. It's just a big shit show. To do uh, to do list includes synergize core value expenditures, shift global market par par parade, monetize free to play, monetize free to play. Oh fuck you already. Anyway, let's go see the boss. I wonder what would happen if I... Oh, I can go into the broom room. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. Oh, it's the same dilemma. No, I can't make a choice like that every five minutes. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Mm. The more he says things like that, the more I kind of want to just dawdle here. Let's see it what we have. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least oh, if there was something head. to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. Yeah, if is, only I have... He's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. That's kind of true. If I could, like, pick one of these things Are up and examine really it. He's still in the broom closet, standing around doing nothing. Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. You know what? F you, man. I'm staying here. You can't stop me. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. God, this game, this this is my nightmare. I'm literally Maybe trapped in a video game. Somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. I hope your friends find this concerning. I do not sound anything like that. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. <laughs> he probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Look, if I could earn my own drug money, then I earn my place in this company. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. Well, then kill me! I this broom closet, explored it a bit, and we're just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, hmm. the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Oh, uh, no, my Hello, landlord can fuck it. Anyone who happens to be nearby, the person at this computer is dead. He or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony <laughs> and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Are you done? Are you done? I guess he finally is done. Holy shit, this game is gonna be a mind fuck. By the way, if I really die, somebody please update, upload this on YouTube. <sighs> I feel like I'm playing to the, his hands if I just step out of this now. I've, 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 pers I've persevered for so long. But no, I guess I don't get the broom store, broom room ah, ending. Second player, it's good to have you on board. <coughs> I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. Oh, don't hold your breath, buddy. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Ah, uh, no. Ah, uh, what we what do we have here? 
Oh, this is... I'm getting but out. Stanley just couldn't do it. No, I can't. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Admitting oh, he had left his post during work hours. He might be might huh. be for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? What All because is this? he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. Maybe it's Rapture. You ever think of that? You ever thought of that? And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Oh no. Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? Why indeed? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, um, said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Whoa! And he imagined awesome. himself soaring through space on a magical star field. And it too appeared. It was so much fun. And Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. What the fuck And while he that? thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Then what was is Stanley it? simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too, surely, uh -oh. surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself uh -oh. to wake up. You don't want to do that. The cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife, and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. The crazy thing is, this is actually kind of hypnotic. Okay. Hypnotic. If he keeps talking, I might actually fall asleep. Mm, no. Nope. Stanley began screaming. Please, I'm still here. someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. Uh. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. The fuck? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. 
And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. Apparently, and this is what they moment, look like. She thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day, the very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. You and gotta, she turned and ran. You gotta call an ambulance for me. Wow, what a bitch. Okay, I died twice in a game uh, about walking in the office. Oh. All of his co-workers were gone. What okay, we're mean? back here. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Maybe. Maybe that's the case. When Stanley came Fuck you, to the I am to going to the to the This to was the right. not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Okay, I'll admire the employee lounge. Uh, oh, wow, yes, look, what, what a nice a place. Room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna stood here. I'm just gonna st stay here forever. I'm, can I sit in yes. any of these chairs? Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. I wanted to close that door. At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. It's possible that this is why everyone left. Why? Because I stay in this room for too long? I guess that's Stan possible. Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue. But when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. Go on, I'm listening. I'm also getting myself a drink while I'm listening. Okay. Uh. Hi! I'm playing the Standing Parable today. What are you doing with your life? I feel like I am stepping into another dimension. Okay, maybe we should get out of here. But maybe the game is testing me. Ah, oh, fuck it. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Oh, what is... What the hell is this place? It doesn't have a name. It doesn't have a tag on the door. This is not happening. And so he detoured through the maintenance section walked straight ahead to the opposite door and got back on track. Really? You think I'm gonna ignore that? Ah, oh, you evil son of a... I have to. It's a red button with a direction on it. I can't not go there. Did I kill myself again? But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. Ooh. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um... Uh, uh, da, 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 da. From here, it's, um... Left. Maybe it's not left. Okay, only one door opens to me. Ah, uh, well. Oh, no. No, it's to the right, my mistake. Okay. It, it's fine. It's fine, really. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Uh, oh, dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? 
Can I open my own doors, please? Let's see, let's see. We went down, right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yeah, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. You sure? You sure about that? Okay, I'm gonna trust you this one time. Which leads me further down, ob obviously. Uh, no, 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 this isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um, oh, who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. Uh, the story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. How about time, no? Suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I... Okay, let's try the phone maybe. Ah, uh, nothing works. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided you to go to the meeting me. room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, this time I am going to choose the... When Stanley... Wait. Wait, what? Uh... No. No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over. Completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, I think something did you did change, change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or a... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Oh. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. <laughs> Sorry, what? Okay, all the doors are open to me. I don't know. I'm just going to this one. I I don't have. I don't. I'm not sensing that I'm finding anything. And the time is still 11:25. Okay, it's not quite there, so the time does change. We we saw a clock that has different times on it, so it probably doesn't mean anything. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you, there definitely was a story here before. Before, if, do we just do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. But it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? We are hitting a major glitch in the matrix. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. This is not going the way I thought it was. Mm -mm. I don't. I didn't know what to expect with this game. I know I didn't expect okay, this. Yep, it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we? It's gonna it be completely different when you open this door. Well, it's not completely different. Why? Why am I still trying to predict this game? I, it's obviously not something I can do. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. Really? No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. My thoughts exactly. Holy shit. <laughs> now this, well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! Yes! I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really I did. paid off, so... Good job. Um, oh, no. thank you. No, I don't feel right about this at all. 
We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Aww. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time, I have to restart. <sighs> what the hell is going on here? Oh! All right. uh, that this makes I've it got a way easier. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? Mm, yeah, it is. Rather say, wait a second. This is not where you asked me to go the last time. I I'm not following the line. I'm... <laughs> Okay, no, I'm not no, going no, anywhere I'm here. We're leaving it up to the line from now on. The I've never been here. This does not See, look like it's leading the to the boss. Knows where the story is? It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought: Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put hmm. it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. I'm here. Now we can both agree that the nature of existence is in fact is it a byproduct asking me to of one subjective on experience of that existence, right? Uh, okay. Now, sure. if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Holy shit, this doesn't lighten the mood at all. It's gonna get me copyrighted. By the way, your line is having a stroke. Why are you moving? Cut the music, go back and look at that fern. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Which Make one? Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. The fern? Oh, this one? Seriously? Whatever, it's green. That's all I need to remember. Wait, um look, well we're back at the office? No. No no line. You do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? I don't think the line is with us anymore. Holy shit. Oh no, 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 not again. Line, how could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you Oh, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. Okay, so we're still using the line. After all that... You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? Exactly. We're intelligent people, right? Mm -hmm. Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in... Well, I don't know. How about this direction? Okay. I'm sure now, things are gonna yes, be really this normal. This is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever um, it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. 
I'm not seeing a lot of inspirations here, to be honest with you, voice in my head. Oh no, not you again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it, and we should be fine. I'm trying not to acknowledge it. It's oh, it's gone. It's gone. We're back. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. Yeah, How important no. we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Ah, oh, okay. okay. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere. Which means that somewhere, the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that, in turn, means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Can I still go to the left door? No, I can't. See? Semblance of choice. A facade. Okay. The confusion ending. What the oh, hell is going oh, what's on? What's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what uh, this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game eight eight times? Um that's really how all this goes? It's all determined? So now, oh, according no. to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this... this... thing... wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to this? Actually, I didn't exactly Even follow this. I the first time I died, it just it really? stayed in the room. No, it can't be. I... I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the time return stopped? Does that mean... Um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So... Okay. Are we going straight now to we the... Just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story, wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime... Um... Hello? 